The Gregorian calendar is the calendar used in most of the world. It was introduced in October 1582 by Pope Gregory XIII, as a minor modification of the Julian calendar, the Gregorian calendar, like the Julian calendar, is a solar calendar with 12 months of 28 or 31 days each. The year in both calendars consists of 365 days, with a leap day being added to February in the leap years. The months and length of months in the Gregorian calendar are the same as for the Julian calendar. Most of the months are named after Roman and Greek gods, religions, and cultures. January is named after the Roman god Janus. In ancient Roman religion and myth, Janus is the god of beginnings, gates, transitions, time, duality, doorways, passages, frames, and endings. He is usually depicted as having two faces. It is conventionally thought that the month of January is named for Janus, but according to ancient Roman farmer Zalmanax Juno was the tutelary deity of the month. February is named after an ancient Roman festival of purification called Februa. The festival held on February 15, in the old lunar Roman calendar. January and February were the last two months to be added to the Roman calendar, since the Romans originally considered winter a month less period. March is named after Mars, the Roman god of war. His month Martius was the beginning of the season for warfare, and the festivals held in his honor during the month were mirrored by others in October, when the season for these activities came to a close. The Roman calendar originally began in March. April takes its name from the Latin word aprilis, the traditional etymology is from the verb apparire, or to open, in allusion to its being the season, when trees and flowers begin to open, which is supported by comparison with the modern Greek use for spring. May is named after the Greek goddess Maya, who was identified with the Roman era goddess of fertility, Bonadi, whose festival was held in May. Conversely, the Roman poet Ovid provides a second etymology, in which he says that the month of May is named for the mayors, Latin for elders, and that the following month, June, is named for the Iyengars, or young people. June offers multiple etymologies for the name in the Roman calendar. The first is that the month is named after the Roman goddess Juno, the goddess of marriage and the wife of the supreme deity Jupiter. The second is that the name comes from the Latin word Iyengars, meaning younger ones, as opposed to mayors, elders, for which the preceding month May, Maeus, may be named. Another source claims June is named after Lucius Junius Brutus, founder of the Roman Republic. July was named by the Roman Senate in honor of Roman General Julius Caesar, it being the month of his birth. Before that, it was called Quintilis, being the fifth month of the ten Roman calendar. August it was originally named Sextilis in Latin, because it was the sixth month in the original ten-month Roman calendar, with March being the first month of the year. About 700 BC, it became the eighth month, when January and February were added to the year before March by King Numa Pompilius, who also gave it 29 days. Julius Caesar added two days, when he created the Julian calendar in 46 BC. In 8 BC, it was renamed in honor of Emperor Augustus. Caesar Augustus was the first Roman emperor, reigning from 27 BC until his death. His status as the founder of the Roman Principate, the first phase of the Roman Empire, has consolidated a legacy as one of the most effective leaders in human history. The rest months, September, October, November, and December are named after Roman numbers. They were originally the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th months of the Roman year. 